Hey Pony Pals, it's Emma from Paint Pony Studios and today I'm doing another show results video for you guys. Um, you gotta pardon me if I like lose my breath or like have to stop at any point, which I'll probably cut out anyway. Um, but I have a lot to go through. Um, horses that are in this round of it back there are only like the first round. I have a whole other stack of ribbons over in my dresser over there, so I need to get to those horses as well. Um, but without further ado, let's get started. So just to preface this for you guys, this was from the um, Cinema County show um, in March. And these are, this is just a sampling um, of my placings. I have another couple stacks of ribbons, like I mentioned. Um, so I will actually get started and go, let's do right to left this time. So let's start over here. So this was a breed only show. Uh, meaning that they only judged on breed, not collectability this time, but they it was double judged. So each horse um, will have two ribbons if it placed from both judges, one ribbon if it only placed from one judge. I couldn't tell you um, Heather Tails judge, uh, you know, anymore just because I don't have that information on me. Um, but we have before you go go, my lovely paint. She took a third and a second, got one Nan card, and I can't remember, I think she was the only Bobby Joe on the table, like the original Bobby Joe, um, which is interesting because a lot of places I've gone, I typically see a lot of these gals on the table, um, just because it is one of the more popular stock horse molds. So it's always odd when there's only like one or two on the table instead of a whole table of, of this same horse. Another stock horse guy, this is my um, Australian stock horse, Butterrum, um, who you guys might know as Saffron from Briarfest last year. And I show him as an Australian stock horse, so he goes in other stock. And it saves me um, a lot of hassle having way too many quarter horses showing him as an Australian stock. Just something that's a little bit different. And he also got a second and a third. Next, coming to Bishop, um, one of my favorites. Bishop I show as a Trachner, um, which is the breed that my real mare is. So um, as it has a very special place in my heart, but he got a second and a fifth um, from the judges this time. Boy. And I love with this horse, um, and Briar doesn't seem to do this a lot. They paint their muzzles a um, solid color, but this guy actually has pinkish red in his nostrils. You can see it a little bit there, but you can see it way more right there. My hands are red, oh my goodness. <laughs> Moving on, we have Aaron Arancione, and he is my Marimana, an Italian light breed. So he got a first and second, and then he won the grand champion um, for his light breed section. He, this horse always does super, super well for me as a Marimana. Um, so if anybody has this guy and is looking for a breed to fit it other than the stereotypical um, Criollo, which is what he was packaged as, try the Marimana, do some research, um, because this guy just places very, very well as it every single time I take him out. Next up is Hearts, my glossy Rachel Alexandra, Bleeding Hearts. She took two first places from both judges and then got the reserve champion for her sport breed section from one of the judges. Then we have Pig, my little stone pony who I show the Chincoteague, and she got second from one judge. Miss Wham Bam, thank you ma'am. Um, as a Pentabian, got a first and second um, from the judges. Little girl. Then we have Hey There Miss, um, Delilah, the Sal Club's Delilah, who I show as a Morab, and she took a second from both judges as a Morab. Paladin, my favorite Vallegro this far. 
Um, he took a first and a fifth, and I cannot remember at this time if I've been showing him as an American warm blood or a Swedish warm blood. Um, so apologies on that. I cannot remember what I typically show him as because it has switched a couple times depending on who else I bring. And then here we have Mongol. And yes, this is a um, Corral Pal Collect A Przewalski, who uh, did very, very well in the Briar Long Year and Exotic class. So well, in fact, it was good. he was just kind of one that we brought um, to sell as the business. And I decided, I was like, well, wait a minute, I'm gonna just toss him in there because I'm so tired of seeing the same donkeys and the same mules over and over again in the Briar classes. And I tossed him in there and he actually got an Ann card. Um, so he's sticking around. I think I'm actually gonna keep him. Next is Caramel Corn, spelled with two Ks. And he was my Icelandic pony, my European pony, taking a first and a third. Um, this guy was from the, I think this was Felknir, um, Filkir, uh, however you, however it said, I can't remember it, from the Stalemate Club last year. Then there's Lucy Goosey, um, my mule chip, my mule, my stone mule chip and she took a first and a second from the judges. Kingsman, my Django, I show as a Barack Pinto, and he typically does pretty well, even up against the big guys. And so this time he got a second and a third in his class. Next is Cat Tracks, my 2015 Premier Club baby. I show him as a Campolina, so like a um, South American breed, and he got a first place from both judges. Tucker on one of my favorite molds, the Gillen. Um, this was the 2010 um, Briarfest special run, um, Child Star, and 2010 was the first Briarfest I ever went to, so this guy is really super special to me. Also, look at that face. That sweet, sweet face. <laughs> He's He's a definite, like, forever keeper, him and his mom. Uh, Mach 1, who is the mini-me of this guy right here. Mach 1, I show as a Frisian sport horse baby, and he took two-thirds. Then we have another Desitato mold, and the Desitato is another of my favorite molds, and this guy was from Briarfest 2013. Um, back when they did the Western theme. And so I actually show, I showed this guy as a Criollo, just because um, the more typical Criollos are done instead of like the chestnut color of this guy. So he got a second and a fifth from the judges in this show. Next up is Neftis or Kali, Briarfest 2017. I show her as an Egyptian Arabian and she got a second and a fourth. Ooh. Blizzard warning, um, and I believe this guy's original name was also Blizzard. He is the only classic in my collection. I'm just taking a quick look over at my shelf over there to make sure I'm correct on that. And I am. <laughs> He's the only classic I own, and he is my only Shire as well. I have really, really been considering the brand new Shire, the new for 2018 Shire. Um, they look very, very similar. Um, but for now, this guy is my only Shire. But he always does super well for me, as you can see. He has two seconds from this from this show. Blue Rhythmico, my mule, took a sixth. Sandy Cheeks is my um, beachcomber. And she took a third and a sixth. Woo! <laughs> My stone pony, uh, McGann, who I show as a British riding pony, I believe. Fourth and a fifth. Icicle, Icicle Junior, after the comic book character. Uh, took two thirds in his Welsh pony class. And then Soleil, my Pomplamoose, I show as an American Cream Draft. And I did, I am, <laughs> I was able to find 
documentation for the darker Palomino colored um, American cream draft, so he usually shows pretty well as that. So this is round one, and I'm gonna be clearing my bed off here in preparation for round two. Okay, so we're back with round two of our Cinema County show placings. And again, I'm gonna start over here on the right and work my way that way. So this is uh, Black Cat. She is the 2015 Premier Club Mayor. And I show her as a Campolina, just like her baby. And she took a third and fourth place at this show. Um, there's only one horse on here that has an Ann card. The rest of these are third place and lower. But almost every horse I took with me um, placed at this show. There are very, very few that didn't place at least one ribbon. So then we have Sunny. She is my stone paint foal and she's really angry at everything. And I love her for it. And then she took a four. Um, Rory Rorschach, named after, um, you can either take it as the Watchmen character or the Inkblots, <laughs> took a fourth and third in his stock breed babies class. Mr. Mixie Spidlick, named after a Superman comic book character, um, is my um, Arden Ardenius. And he placed two thirds at this show. And actually, this is one of the celebration models um, from Briarfest that I've actually liked. Um, the only other celebration model that I liked enough to keep was the one from my first Briarfest, which was All Glory. And he's kind of a sentimental piece as well because he won me one of my glossy Rachel Alexandras um, in the celebration horse class that year. But yeah, I haven't really liked any of the other. Um, Celebration horse is enough to keep them, except for this guy. Next, another draft, we have Deputy. And he's one of Briar's little mini Breeds of the World resins that they did um, a couple years ago. This guy came out in 2012. Because I remember I traded my uh, 2012 Briarfest celebration model for this guy. And then the next day I showed him at the youth show and he won me, um, I can't remember if it was the glossy Highland Pony or the glossy Shetland Pony, but he won me a horse like the very next day. Next is my big purchase for 2018 so far. Um, we have Ollie, and he is the, he's from the Stone Super Bowl sale. Um, he is Luck of the Draw, and he is one of seven. And on his first outing, he took first from one judge in the big Stone Arab class. And it was so big of a class, in fact, that neither judge placed the same horse. Like they had first through sixth placings and neither judge placed the same horse. There were that many Arabs. So this guy took first in his class. Then we have Lexington or Lexi and she is my thoroughbred on the Giselle mold and she took two fifths. Then another Giselle mold because I absolutely love the Giselle mold is Melange and she's my American Wormblood and she took six at this show just from one judge. Uh, chocolate, oh god, chocolate, Choco Chex Mix, my bad, is a stone pebble that I actually, fun fact, found on the bottom of a rummage sale box and scavenged. <laughs> um, so he is my Canadian sport horse and I, he got two fifths at this show. Irish Diamond is another horse in my collection that has like a really big sentimental um, value behind him. Uh, I met the real horse at Briarfest and very sad to say that, that he had to be put down on my birthday that year. So that was um, fun, but I do actually have pictures of me and my mother with Irish Diamond, but I <laughs> show him as an Irish draft, Irish draught, um, and he got a third and fourth at this show. Loki, and somebody pointed out before um, that I had taken the name from another YouTuber. Uh, well, <laughs> Cinnamon Mew Mew designed these characters, and this was, uh, Loki was actually the name of this character, but this horse's show name is Mischief Managed, and he 
by Shohan Mazay Sel Francois using um, Mon Gammon. For those of you who know Mon Gammon, I use Mon Gammon as a reference because the Sel Francois is not normally this beautiful pinto color. My Mustang, Stone Mustang, is Can't Be Liquor. And he took a third and a sixth. And here we have um, Kohana. For anyone who has been looking for one of these guys, um, this is from the 2018 Stable Make Club, designed by Francine Dare. And I love him. I did not think I was gonna like him as much as I do. And he came and he, he came in his little box, and I'm sorry I did not get a chance to film that. Um, unboxing him, but he's absolutely precious. I show him as an American Indian horse, and he goes by the name Kitchity Kippy, uh, which is, um, for those of you who know uh, Midwestern Upper Peninsula history and, and uh, geography, Kitchity Kippy is one of our big freshwater springs up here, so I thought that was a really fitting name. So he got a third, or, uh, yeah, third and a fifth his first time out. Apollo 13 is my Morgan, um, better known as the 2012 Surprise Horse um, from Briarfest, and he got a third and a fourth. Norman, Paranorman, um, the movie that he's named after is one of my favorites. I love stop motion. Um, and so this was his first time out in a very long time and he got a third and a fourth. I was actually contemplating selling this guy. He's Ryman from Briarfest 2013, and I, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'll hang on to him. Then we have Whisper, showing as a Camarillo White, and he took third. Pepper, or Peppered Gold. My, as you can see, Judge's model. Marshall's Nugget Trophy. I can't, he must have been a trophy model, not a Judge's model, my bad. Um, but this was another guy that I found on the bottom of a rummage sale box with Choco right there. So approximately eight of those made. Moving on to the back row, here is Aaron Dell, my quarter horse. Took a fourth, and in the same class, my other quarter horse, my newer quarter horse, Muffin, um, took a fifth. And last but not least, this little um, stablemate that a lot of you guys would probably know from the um, like Walmart surprise bags, um, which are different than the surprise bags that we can order as a dealer, fun fact. I actually got this guy when they had him on blister cards way back in the day. I cannot remember what year, but before they used this particular horse in those blind bags, excuse me, he was a blister card regular run stable mate. And his name is Mad Hatter. And I showed him as my Appaloosa and he took a sixth and a fifth at this show. So there you have it guys, that's our results for the Cinema County Model Horse Show. This is not the last show I'm going to um, this year before I go to Indiana, but uh, the next one will be Mayfest uh, down at the Stone Factory. And then after that, I will be working at the Stone Factory. Um, I'm not showing at Equilocity this year. I am, however, hosting the children and youth, or not children, I'm sorry, the youth and novice division. So if you've never shown before or are relatively new to showing or are under the age of 18, you are allowed to show at the Equilocity Stone Age Live Youth and Novice show. And I highly recommend you do it. It's gonna be a really, really fun time. The stone atmosphere is such like a nice, friendly, almost like a family atmosphere as opposed to like the Briarfest show. Um, so there are still spots available for that. I will put a link up there to the class list on our website. Um, I don't know if I can link it to Stone's website, but I will put information for that in the description so you guys can check that out. And I hope to see you guys at Briarfest this year. If you don't see a whole lot of videos of me in them personally, um, that's because I'm down at the factory, I don't have Wi-Fi, um, and I'm leaving the filming and <laughs> um, videos to my mother and Anna. Um, but we should also be on Instagram. If you guys want to check out our Instagram, it's at Paint Pony Studios. And check out our Facebook page at the same name. So if you guys like the video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content. And leave a comment below. Maybe tell me like what, what horse was your favorite in this video? What placing was your favorite? 
for now, Pony Pals, that was the Sonoma County Model Horse Show, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!